DJ Pro for the Android is a little bit limited compared to DJ Pro for the iPad because we only have three view modes and the only one we can really DJ with is Classic. So in this video, I'm gonna show you everything you could do with the waveforms in this classic view mode. So right now, if you look at it, you may be thinking there is no view, there is no view of our waveforms. Well, that's because they are hidden and then you have to select them to be able to see them. So in the middle here, there are three things we could do with the middle of our app. So the first one is going to be our EQs. This has nothing to do with the waveforms. You can't see the waveforms there. But if we press the middle button, we will see the waveforms for both track. Track on the left's waveforms are going to be here. Track on the right's waveforms are going to be over there. What's really cool is these waveforms are active. So if you, you could scratch with them the same way that you would scratch with the jog wheel. And this really comes in handy when you're using the other features. Because if you press the button over here, we are going to access all of the features. It hides the jog wheel. In, D, in DJ Pro for the iPads Pro mode, you could have all all the features and then have your jog wheels at the top but right now we don't have jog wheels so if you wanted to use your effects if you wanted to use your cue points and you still wanted to scratch and still wanted to be able to adjust the track you could do it with the waveforms so they are active these waveforms at the top you could only scrub through the track so if you want to get to the end of the track, you could do that. Get to the beginning of the track, but you can't scratch or adjust it with there. And then also on our jog wheels, we have these two buttons up here. These will slightly slow down or slightly increase it. When you see DJs moving the jog wheels when they're not scratching, they're lining up the beats. And this is a good way to do it with a button instead of tapping on the jog wheel. If you are using your features, then you don't have access to that anymore. On the waveforms, it's kind of hidden, kind of hard to see because there's a lot of colors and lines, but we have the same plus and minus buttons here. So these are waveforms, but they act exactly as jog wheels. So it's a great way to do more stuff at the same time, which is what DJing is all about. So now we could adjust these waveforms. They're color coded, so you'll get, as you DJ a lot with this software, you'll start to know what color and shape will be which sound we could get to our settings for our waveforms if we press these really hidden drop down menus at the top right or the top left here for each side so we're going to press that and we have one thing we could do on the app for different devices you could do more but we could adjust our high contrast or low contrast this makes it easier to see the waveform so they stand out more so i would recommend leaving that on and then we could zoom in and zoom out another thing we could do is there's a hidden pencil down here we could press that and then now we could set our down beats and we could adjust our beat grid if the software didn't do it correctly and now let me show you in our cue point so i'm gonna i'm gonna set a cue point right here and then the, the cue point will be representative on your waveforms so you'll know when your cue point is coming up in the same color and if we press the pencil button over here we could change the color and it's going to correspond to the one on the waveforms. Another thing that changes on the waveforms is when we adjust our Nero mix. So in Nero mix, so look at it now, if we take out the vocals, it basically all disappears because this is uh, like a vocal only sample. But as I fade back in the vocals, you'll see it on your waveform. So it's represented on the waveform. So just another way to see which stems you're taking out. So watch, see how it's getting smaller, smaller like that. So that is everything you could do with the waveforms in DJ Pro for the Android. And if you wanna see my full tutorial, check out this video over here. Thank you.